So in this video, we're going to give a quick recap of resultant vectors in 2D. So if you remember back, vectors are used to represent physical quantities, which have both a magnitude and a direction. So force is an example of one of those physical properties. A force can have a magnitude, so how hard the force actually is. And it also has a direction um, over which it acts. So let's say that we have a couple of different forces acting on a particular body. Okay, so let's say that we have this body here. And we've got a force F1 acting on it like this. And we also have another force F2 acting on it like this. So one might ask, what is the total force or the resultant force acting on that body? And we can work this out using vector addition, um, and it provides us with the resultant vector. So if we want to know the total, we can say that the sum of the forces is equal to, I'm going to call it FR, okay? This here is my resultant force. So if we were to draw it and look at it graphically, um, adding these two together, we call it adding head to tail. So we draw the first one, so F1, and then we have to put head to tail. So the head of this arrow goes on the tail of this one. It looks something like this, so that would be F2. And when we apply this equation and add them together, this here represents the total. So you go from right from the beginning all the way to join to where the other, where, where all these added arrows together finish. Okay, so this here represents FR. Now, usually what we want to do is put our vectors into X and Y components. So the component that acts in the X direction, the component that acts in the Y direction, and if we had three dimensions, you'd look at the Z direction as well. So what that means is when we, we can rewrite this equation, and we can say that the sum of the forces in just the X direction is equal to the part of the resultant in the X direction. And similarly, we've got a second equation where the sum of the forces in the y direction are equal to the resultant that acts in the y direction. So we split it off into two different parts. So what we can do then is if we go back to our diagram and kind of think about it in a, in a visual sense, what we're really doing is we're taking each of these F1 and F2 vectors and we're splitting them up. Okay, so let's do this in red. Okay. So we're splitting it up. So this here becomes, I'll call it F1x, that's its x component. And this vertical part here, let's draw it in up here, becomes F1y. Okay, we can do the same thing for this other one. Okay, so this little bit on the end is its y component. And sorry, that should be a 2. And this is its x component, F2x. All right, and what we can see is when we start to apply this equation, so the sum of the components in the x direction have to equal the resultant in the x direction. So this x part plus this x part have to equal the total x part, okay, of our resultant vector, okay? And you can see that this one plus this one should equal this, okay? This is f1x. This is F2x, okay? Similarly, we can do the same thing in the y direction. So this y part plus this y part has to equal the total, the blue line's total, okay? Oops. Oops, should be F1, y. Okay. So that's the basics of um, your vector addition. Um, all you're really doing is finding the total um, or the resultant of each of the different individual parts. All right, so the other kind of aspect of this is being able to move between the two different forms of your vectors. So say, for example, you're given this F1, okay? And you're also told that it has a angle in here um, of theta between the x-axis and the vector. So if we then want to work out the x and the y components, what we need to do is use sine, cos, and tan of the triangle that we can form in here um, to work out those components. So let's go ahead and make it into a triangle. So we're going to have 
the two different sides representing the x and the y components. So let's call this one f1y and this one f1x. And because the x and the y axis should always be at 90 degrees to each other, this is always going to end up being a 90 degree angle between the x and the y components. So if we're given f1 and theta and we want to work out these other two, we can use sine cos and tan. So if we start with cos theta, working with this triangle, cos is equal to the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So the adjacent side is f1x, and the hypotenuse side is the longest one, that's going to be f1. So if we rearrange this, we find that the x component is equal to the hypotenuse f1 multiplied by cos of the angle. So we can apply exactly the same method to get what f1y equals in terms of these other two. So that's going to end up being a sine function, remembering that sine is equal to the opposite, okay, f1y, divided by the hypotenuse. And when we rearrange, that's what we end up with, okay? So the final thing is what happens if instead of being given f1 and theta, you're given just the component forms, these two here. And you want to go back and find what f1 and theta actually are. So again, because this is a right angled triangle and it always will be, um, you can use a rule that's applicable for right angles only. And that is Pythagoras theorem. Let's scroll this down. Okay, so here we have, basically this is Pythagoras theorem, which is a squared plus b squared has to equal c squared, except that we've rearranged it, in this case c is the same as f1, the hypotenuse, we've taken the square root of the two components, b squared and c squared, okay, and that's how we can work between the two different kind of forms. Um, the other thing, I guess, if you wanted to then work out theta, and you only had f1y and f1x, um, tan of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. So if you take the inverse, you're just left with theta on its own. So it's going to be tan inverse of the opposite over the adjacent. So that there. So that's pretty much all there is to working with vectors in 2D um, in order to do resultant calculations. Um, there's going to be a couple of examples doing it in the future videos. So I'll see you there.